As we know, the Matt Ryan era is over. Desmond Ritter looks like he's the guy. What are your thoughts on that? What are your thoughts on, you know, the Falcons quarterback situation going into the draft as well? Well, first of all, Matt was a guy that I had a chance to work with very closely for 14 seasons. I mean, he and I talked, we played golf in the off season together some, and then, and then we got into the season. I talked to him uh, three times a week to get ready for games. And he was very generous with his time. Um, was always a guy that was very, uh, are open. Um, what you see is what you get with Matt Ryan. He is a, he's as cool a guy and as nice a guy as you could possibly meet. Um, transitioning over Marcus Mariota was kind of the, the bridge that came in. And I thought Marcus was fun to work with. Good guy. Um, tried to develop a bit of a relationship with him, uh, which you want to as a broadcaster, because, you know, I'm telling the stories of the teams and I want to tell it from a per player perspective, which is where I come from. Uh, and we tried to do that, and I thought we did a decent job with Marcus. And then Desmond was a guy I was getting to know just his rookie year a year ago. I was getting to know him and kind of you know, he's trying to blend in both as a leader but also as a teammate. So you don't want to come in and just throw yourself out there, hey, I'm this and that. But, you know, you, you've got to earn the respect of your teammates, earn the respect of the people that are there covering you. And I thought he did a really good job of that. It was a guy that showed up. Uh, on his first day at six o'clock in the morning. In fact, I think he beat the coach in the first day. I remember Arthur Smith telling me that I had to work hard to beat this kid in the building. And it started from day one, even though he wasn't the starter, he was there working on trying to get better. What do I need to do? And, and that's what you want. And I could identify with Des because he's got a chip on his shoulder. He felt like he was a number one pick. He didn't go till the th third round. In fact, you know, there weren't, there was only one guy in Kenny Pickett that went last year in the first round. So he was one of those guys that had that late first round grade, maybe early second. He doesn't go to the third round. I could feel kind of the angst and, and things building up inside of him, much like they did me, where people were maybe doubting me a little bit. And I think that there's some been some doubting of him. I thought he did a good job in the four games that he had a chance to play last year. I thought he showed uh, gradual improvement through each game. Very difficult environments to play in in New Orleans to start his career. I can attest, I played there. That's a very tough place to play. Um, I thought he fought through that, gave us a chance to win at the end. We did not. Uh, went to Baltimore, which is another very difficult place to play, a playoff caliber team, playoff team, uh, one of the better defenses in the league. Um, bitterly cold day that day, um, but he handled his business and got better. And then, of course, won his last two games, um, which he's done throughout his career in Cincinnati. I think he was 26 and 0 at, at Cincinnati as a starter. Now two and 0 as an Atlanta Falcon as a starter. That, that that's a pretty good start to your career. So I think there's a lot of upside to him. He's got all the measurables, the size, the ability to run, the arm strength. But I love his calm, his demeanor, his willing to work, willing to wait for his opportunity. And then when he took the opportunity, uh, he's grabbed hold of it. So I, I'm I'm excited for him.